At some point in your life, you're probably not gonna be able to ride all your bikes. Maybe it's winter time like it is now, or maybe you broke your leg, perfect time during winter, right? But at some point, you're not gonna be able to ride your bike and you need to store it for a little bit. So let's talk about that with this Surron bike. I'm John Holmes and stay tuned. All right, so a little backstory. I went skiing and long story short, I broke my leg. But being that it's winter time, not too, not too big of a deal because you know I won't be able to ride my bikes for a month or two anyway, but I'm at a commission for about three months. This is a perfect time for us to talk about what you need to do to winterize your Suron. Now, there's really not a whole lot to do on an electric bike to winterize. You don't have to worry about your oil getting thick. You don't have to worry about the gas getting unstable in there or anything like that. You really only need to worry about your battery. So, I have been letting this bike sit for almost two months already because our weather has been really bad and it's going to be sitting for about another three months because I just broke my leg. So what we need to do is make sure that our battery is not self-discharging too far. All batteries are gonna self-discharge at some point in time at some rate. When they are plugged into the bike, they'd self-discharge a little bit faster and you need to keep up on it. I believe Saron recommends recharging the bike about once every month during storage, even if you have the battery taken out. Now this is actually a worst case scenario because it is plugged into the bike and the little, uh, the contactor is still on. So the bike is self-discharging at about the highest rate that it can, unless I had the bike physically turned on. So about two months, uh, six weeks to two months of sitting, we went from 100% down to 78%. So there's this little button that gives us the, uh, the capacity indicator. It's not a perfect indicator of how much capacity in there, but it's pretty dang good, honestly. So we have lost about 22% of our full charge sitting for about two months. That lets us know that we could probably let this bike sit for six, eight, maybe 10 or 12 months, and we would be a-okay with this battery. But that is not a good thing to do. So what I would suggest is that if you're gonna leave your bike sitting for more, let's say more than a month, that you make sure that you unplug it from the bike itself to give you the best case, and then recharge it, say every two months or so. So by the time you get through with your, your winter time in your area, you may just be ready to recharge and ride. It's actually not as big of a deal as I thought it would. Now I should mention that the first run battery self-discharges faster than this one. This is a second or third run battery. I went ahead and got a spare because I just like to have two batteries for hot swapping. I know you don't like the term hot swapping, but that is what we call it in the e-bike industry when you have a fresh, hot charged pack and you throw it into your bike, bam, ready to go, right? Oh wait, I think YouTube wants to see its favorite hat. There we go. So. That's pretty much it. You want to make sure that you recharge your battery before it gets too low and, and we're done. So if you do have any more questions, let me know in the comments about this. I mean, what's easier than just recharging every here and there? But I would also like to know, did you buy a Suron bike because of my videos or did you not buy a Suron bike because of my videos? On top of that, if you have one, what have you noticed for the self-discharge? Has it even been able to sit long enough for you to notice a self-discharge? I use mine so regularly, except for the broken leg, that I'd ever even noticed it, except for when I would, you know, not swap my batteries often enough and one would sit for a month before I'd swap them out, then I would notice a little bit of self-recharge or self-discharge on there. So maybe you notice the same, but maybe you're like me and you use it so often that you never even got to notice it. So let me know in the comments, give me some feedback on what your bikes are doing for you. And I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope that you've been having fun with your bike and having fun watching the videos here. And I certainly have. So what more can we ask for but having some fun in life, right? So once again, thanks for tuning in and have a good day.